Most of us live so short-sighted. Let's say you have your prime working years from say 20 to 50, that's 30 years. And at 25 years old, you fall in love with coding or data science or machine learning or building a YouTube channel based around your personality or a blog or really anything. Maybe going back to school for a PhD and you decide that you're gonna do what it takes to shift careers and leave a job you hate. It's a big life decision, but it's one that will greatly benefit you in the long run. So you allot three years of learning, sacrifice and study. You have to cancel plans and cancel trips, maybe time with friends, late nights to make it work. And you do it. You spend three years learning to code, building projects, making connections, getting certifications, maybe internships. And then after three years, you've gained the skills to become very marketable. You know your algorithms, you've picked up real world experience and you land the job. Well, guess what? At that point, you're still under 30. In fact, you're just 28 years old. It only took three years out of your 30 year window. But now you're making three times the salary and you have the baseline by which to increase that from here on out. Now, instead of doing something like this, we want quick results. We don't wanna spend three years doing anything. We wanna complain about the problems we have about the economy. We don't create any plan of action. We spend our time leaving critical YouTube comments, jumping around to different tutorials, criticizing others. And guess what? Three years passes you by. Three years of completely unproductive and wasted effort. Now you've spent three years out of the 30, but you're in the same spot that you were before. There's three years to change your life, three out of 30, remember, or three years wasted, still at the starting point. If you've ever read this really helpful book, the Almanac of Novel Ravikant, there's a quote in it that says, we waste our time with short-term thinking and busy work. Warren Buffett spends a year deciding in a day acting. That act lasts decades. Or in our case, three years of hard work and then a day of life-changing action, changing careers, changing your life, increasing your salary. And that change has a lasting impact on your life for years and decades to come. When I learned to code over seven years ago, yes, it was easier, but it was still hard for a person with no technical background outside of being good at computers. After 10 years at a job paying me a max of $37,000 a year, I woke up, I put in the work and was able to instantly triple that as a result immediately. And that set a baseline salary that all subsequent jobs would have to match or increase for me to take the role. Now it took me about six months of hard work then, I would say it's more like a year of hard work now. But I started at 34 and I was still 34 when I made the transition. I actually have a video on that story. I'll link to it above. Make some coffee one day, take a drive. I think you'll find it encouraging. But my point is, is that we see three years as this long drawn out period of time. We think of it in terms of all the things we miss out on in that period of time. But I'm here to say that if you don't create a game plan for what you want in life and put it into action, those three years will pass without having made any significant improvement in your position. People work decades moving up the corporate ladder and then when they're 50, they finally become a manager or have taken some significant step that they're happy about. And all those many years of hard work has paid off. They're so thankful and they celebrate, but I'm here to say that that's a foolish way of thinking for many. And I say that because we don't really live in that period of time where you can keep a job for that long. But instead of increasing your pay by a thousand a year for 30 years, take some time and learn a hard technical skill that will put you in a new financial bracket, especially with this growth of AI. Many see this as a threat. I see it as a bunch of new opportunities, not just in coding or software development or engineering, but many new doors opening in the broad scope of technology. Choose a path and become the best at it. But Travis, the economy is hard now. It's too late. It's too much work. The chances are slim. I can barely pay my bills. I hear you. But I respond in that the opportunities are actually endless. You won't land a fang job. You probably won't hit six figures in your first job. You'll have lots of rejections and frustrations, but you could land a job at the local college IT department or the local factory or a small web agency or a freelancing role. Or perhaps you carve out your own path with some app that you build or a YouTube channel that you grow or whatever. We all look to the same job boards, but that's like 1% of the opportunity in the world, especially with the world at our fingertips or literally in our pockets. Take time to learn the foundations that allow you to do a vast number of things in a particular field. What if in addition to learning programming, you learned how computers work and sharpened up your math skills and then applied those to how programming actually works? In doing so, you're not just a JavaScript developer or a Python developer, but a technician who can shift around as the industry changes and evolves. Learning the actual programming is easy. Learning to solve problems, making decisions, and conveying ideas well, those are harder. 
But if you spend additional time on these skills, skills that can't be automated, then who really cares about AI taking over? You're able to pick up whatever you need along the way. And say it takes three years. Again, if you're 30 and it takes three years, you're only 33 when you've achieved what you want. Now, I'm not saying you need to do this. I'm not saying it will take exactly three years, but I am saying stop living so short-sighted, expecting things to happen so quickly without putting in the hard work or taking the time needed to do it. First, make a plan. What do you want? Second, how do you get there? You need to create very specific steps that you can stick to that progressively guide you to your goal. And third, how long will it take you to get there? This is the step where you need to actually zoom out and look at the big picture. Spend more time in the big picture than the immediate state you're in when it comes to career planning and life goals. I'll leave some resources below that may help you out, but if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, consider doing so, and I'll see you guys in the next video.